in this particular problem we have two operators a and b and both are hermitian so using this fact we have to obtain a relationship between these two operators such that the product is also hermitian so let us first define what it means when we say that a particular operator is hermitian for that we need two eigenfunction let's consider the two eigenfunction psi m and psi n then we'll consider the operator a which is hermitian then the integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity we have psi star m times the operator a operating on psi n dx this is the same as integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity so here we have the operator a now it operates on psi m but we have to take the conjugate of it times psi n so this particular relationship is true only when a is a hermitian operator so the same holds for the operator b what we will do now we will use this definition because it's mentioned here that the product of the two operators a b is also hermitian so that means if the product of the two operators a b is hermitian comma then it must follow that the integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity so we are going to use this definition we have psi star m with the operator the product of the operator a b operating on psi n dx this must be equals to the integral going from negative infinity to positive infinity now we have the operator a b operating on psi m but we have to take the conjugate times psi n dx now the integral on the right hand side this can be also rewritten as we have a star b star psi star m psi n dx now we'll have to tread with the integral on the left hand side carefully so let's try to understand this particular integral so here we have the operator a that is operating on b psi n so that means if we use this definition that means we can rewrite it as negative infinity to positive infinity so we have a star so this is operating on psi star m multiplied to b psi n in the similar fashion we can say now the operator b is operating on psi n so that means now our integral can be further simplified to so we have now b star so this is operating on a star psi star m times psi n so here i have missed out the dx times dx so this is equals to this particular integral negative infinity to positive infinity a star b star psi star psi n dx no and if we compare it the two integrals what we see is that we have b star a star so we have psi star so that this will be equals to a star b star now what we'll do we'll take the conjugate on both sides so if we take the conjugates on both sides so this is simply taking the conjugates the kind taking the conjugates will give us b a equals to a b or in another way we can say we have operator a b minus operator b a that's equals to zero or simply we can say the 
commutator relation between a and b that's equals to zero so that means a and b commutes with each other so this is the condition or we can say the relation that exists between a and b so only when a and b commutes with each other and also a and b are hermitian then the product of the operators a b is also going to be hermitian